As part of our Thinking Positive web series, we're talking to uh, social media consultant Chris Blomqvist, who's done some work for Canfar and has his own company. How much advocacy can you do in social media? I think there's a lot, and there is. Um, just what social media has done for business, big businesses kind of get into it, you can see um, how important it is to stay social and how people are interacting. And uh, you can bring advocacy anywhere where the people are and the people, people are online. Well, I guess the most famous example is the Coney video, right? Which just everybody watched more than, more than Lady Gaga and, and what it accomplished. I mean, what, what was your sense of that? There is, um, there's a lot of, there is a lot of slacktivism where um, click like my face, like our Facebook page and we'll donate it and this company will donate a dollar to a charity. And, and while in the initial phase it, it, it brings a dollar and it might bring a million if a million people like it, but after that it doesn't really create any, fosters any conversation. I think people are pretty receptive to engaging with messages if they feel engaged and if they feel that maybe uh, their opinion matters because it's a, it's a two-way form of communication, right? And it's, it's also an earned form of media, right? You're earning, you're earning the respect and the, and the attention of the audience and um, big businesses do it with flashy viral videos or celebrities. Um, but I don't think that's necessary. I don't think we necessarily have to do that. I think if we have an honest message and, and we reach um, groups where they can be found on their home turf, um, I definitely think that we can um, create a, a call to action and, and, and motivate some emotion. What's more personal, do you think? You know, talking, people, human being, contact, person to person, or somebody being able to find out what they need to know with no stigma, no judgment, one-to-one -one with a mobile device or a computer? I think there's always going to be a need for compassion, and I, um, I think the advent of social media um, really allows for the exchange of information and it, and it really allows people to interact um, in ways they might not have before, especially in maybe rural communities, getting information, a social network, U uh, UNAIDS has, uh, it's called um, AIDS Space, and it's actually a social network for the, um, the world a uh, HIV and AIDS population, the 30 plus million individuals who are living with it. Have all the new technologies helped or advanced communication, knowledge about the disease and prevention? Absolutely. I, I definitely believe that social media has allowed for the exchange of information. Um, individuals who might not have access to um, information otherwise in rural communities or um, maybe different cultural communities or, or whatever it may be, um, social media is a way for them to interact with people. It doesn't matter about your gender and it doesn't matter about your um, sexual orientation and it doesn't matter about your race, we're all individuals and it's just a human connecting to a human. Uh, and that being said, I don't think that social media is the end all and be all and that we should just be stuck to our Facebook and not ever interact with humans. I think it's good to get that basic line of communication and just that connection. So where's it going? It's going all mobile. We don't even... Um, I think we know that social media is, is, is going to further um, change education. It's going to change how doctors work with patients. It's going to change how lawyers work with clients. It's going to change how organizations work together. It's already doing that. Um, but most importantly, it's going to change um, the way we think about human interaction. So I think it's about perception, and I don't necessarily think um, it dehumanizes us. I think we're going to evolve with it, um, and I think we're always going to need human interaction, so I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. But this is global. This is big. This is important message still. There's so much people need to know. It's here to stay. Thank you. You're welcome.